What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode with AB Investments. Uh, we haven't done one of these in a long time, so I decided to make one. And if you missed any of the lives uh, today, at least, this will make up for it. Um, I want to go ahead and address a uh, small few things quickly and tell you a little more update. I hear a lot of questions about Atter, uh, and obviously we'll always address our beauty uh, AMC. So with that being said, um, I'm going to make this as quick as possible so I can go ahead and hurry up and get to my prayers. Um, as far as Atter, what I'm seeing is that on the, um, on the, on the, on like on a monthly chart, right now and then looking like switching it over to the year i'm seeing that where we at right now is basically we're we're doing higher highs and higher lows so which means right now with that three percent up today i'm expecting one of two things one either tomorrow it, it uh consolidates and then um it probably goes down anywhere between uh five to eight percent somewhere in there to consolidate and then have another leg up um, and possibly moving past the uh, previous uh, point of six dollars and forty cents or six dollars and it's between six dollars and forty to six dollars and fifty cents um, now when it does break that resistance I posted a photo in the section of the community section if it breaks that resistance because it touched it once before, which was uh, last week and a week and a half ago. And now if it touches it again, then we're looking, at least as far as what I see, for another move up, a monster's move up to the $8.10 uh, area and possibly more uh, above that. Now, if it does not do that, if it touches that resistance line and at $6.40 um, and moves basically back down, it gets rejected up there then you're going to be looking for another longer period of consolidating and possibly moving down all the way until it meets its uh, ultimate support, which is at $2.43. Now, of course, it's going to stop at levels before it reaches all the way down, but that's its final uh, support. Now, that wraps up Atter. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can, you know are doing great with that and continue the great work. Um, as far as AMC... AMC is showing me that it is quite possible that this week we will close at around 1357. Uh, I think that's where one of our first uh, levels of support are. Our second level of support is at $12.17, which is the arguably the one that I personally see, not necessarily just for this week. At any given time after this week, if we continue to go down, uh, I see $12.17, our, se our second level of support. And it's exactly also the same area where we squoze from uh, last uh, June of 2021. That's where we took off from to go up to the 14s and then the 15, 17, and then that's when we took that ma massive leg up. Um, now, the last level of support for AMC is, which is the one I don't expect us to get to, but you know, you never know. This is, this is the world we live in today, is $8.81. Um, if it touches that, then obviously that's our last level of support. And then, you know, I don't just, I just don't see us touching that anytime at all. But if we go down there, um, you know, you just know that that's where we're, we're heading. If we break the 1217, that's our le last uh, level of support. Uh, honestly, I don't see us going below that 1357 uh, first level of support. So if we reach that, I expect that this week. If we reach that, um, you know, anywhere between the 13 to the yeah, sometime this week, early next week, before the Fed's meeting, I could see us possibly reaching that 1357 and then have a, a massive rally. And the levels we'll be looking at breaking, it's, it's, which is the big resistance, is actually 31 or $32. Um, that's our le next level of major resistance because that's the place that we got rejected at at the last time. Remember when we got halted and we dumped back down. Um, if we break that level, then I don't want to throw you know any fud out there to people or get people to think that oh look he's throwing dates and times and all that stuff no if we break that final uh that major resistance level we are due for a breakout that's gonna be so monstrous again this is not financial advice but it's gonna be way above the 138 dollar level uh that's just what i see on my end again not financial advice i could be wrong about everything completely now last but not least guys 
Remember I just mentioned something about the Fed's meeting on May 3rd and May 4th, and then they'll announce on May 4th. One thing I want you guys to do to please embrace the volatility. These are great times. If you are not an institutional investor that is investing in all the major uh, index funds and all the other big stocks, uh, non-meme stocks, you have nothing to worry about. They are the ones that are literally like right now sitting in boiling water. Um, and soon they're just going to uh, completely boil <laughs> and, 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 and they're screwed. As far as shorts, at any given moment now, you could definitely start hearing cracks in the ice and soon it's going to lead to margin calls, up on margin calls, and that's going to lead to their ice age. In other words, their doom. Um, I don't think we're far away from all that, guys. I don't think, I really don't think we're far away. Again, not financial advice. Once again, much love, AB Investments.